This study is entitled The Efficacy of Two Finishing Protocols in the Quality of Orthodontic Treatment Outcome. Hi and greetings from Ann Arbor. My name is Jim McNamara from the Department of Orthodontics and Pediatric Dentistry at the University of Michigan. I also maintain a private practice in Ann Arbor from which one of the samples to be discussed was derived. This short video will present the findings from a prospective clinical study that deals with a subject near and dear to the heart of the practicing orthodontist. That is the quality of the finished occlusion at the end of treatment. The objective of this prospective controlled study was to evaluate the quality of treatment outcome achieved by two finishing protocols, one simple, one complex, with particular emphasis on the role of the tooth positioner. The first group, the standard finishing group, consisted of 34 consecutively treated patients whose dental arches were detailed in a traditional fashion by way of artistic bends in the arch wires and the use of vertical elastics. The complex finishing group consisted of a match sample of 34 consecutively treated patients. One week prior to appliance removal, both arch wires as well as all molar bands were removed and a light stainless steel ligature wire was placed in a serpentine fashion in each arch to allow for further settling of the occlusion. One week later, the patient was debonded and then given an individually customized tooth positioner that was worn for two to three weeks after debonding with a duration of wear averaging 18 days. The objective grading system developed by the American Board of Orthodontics was used to quantify the quality of the case finish. In general, a score of 20 or less usually means that a case submitted for the phase three clinical examination of the ABO passes automatically with a score of 26 or below, typically deemed acceptable by the ABO directors. Each set of digital models also was scanned using a three-dimensional digital scanner to evaluate interocclusal contacts and other dimensions of the dental cast. Appropriate statistical methods were used to analyze the data. Results. Consecutively treated patients managed with the standard finishing protocol had an average ABO score of 23.0 at debond. The complex finishing group had a similar score prior to the time the molar bands were removed and the serpentine wires were placed. The ABO score decreased slightly to 21.3 at debond, but this value decreased substantially to 14.7 after positioner wear, a difference that was highly significant statistically. Conclusions. The use of tooth positioners led to a clinically significant improvement in interocclusal and interproximal contacts, as well as a net reduction in overall ABO score. Some closure in posterior band space also was noted following molar band removal one week prior to debond. So what does this all mean to the practitioner? If an orthodontist wants to achieve the best possible occlusion at the end of treatment, especially in preparation for phase three of the American Board of Orthodontics examination. He or she may want to consider the positioner a useful adjunct at the end of treatment. I would like to finish this video with an image of a local Ann Arbor landmark, Michigan Stadium, also known as the Big House, a cultural venue of our community that has undergone extensive renovation during the last three years. Thanks for listening.